All right, guys, more modern coverage. Today I'm here with, you know him, you'll love him, Matty G, the man who gets thrown a team and somehow makes magic happen. Matt, how are we doing today? Good, great. Besides my voice being gone, I'm having a blast. Awesome, man. So with modern kicking off, what are you playing today and why? Uh, I'm playing uh, PJ's, it's every, uh, PJ's Apocalypse, uh, Scarab Annihilation, Annihilation, Venom Magneto, Mad Jim Jasper's team. Uh, one, because APOC is just cool. Hell yeah. Pog generation is fun. The Scarab and Venom sculpts are just amazing. Yeah, they really are. I, I just want to play them. And uh, Mad Jim Jaspers is just broken. <laughs> <laughs> that he is. We've heard from a few people playing similar builds today, so clearly it's a bit popular. Now, Matt, what's a matchup that you just do not want to sit across from today? Triple Apocalypse at 100 points. I think <laughs> in the future going forward, if anyone listens to this... Any <laughs> piece that has Pog Generation needs to be unique. Yes. From going forward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Annihilation could be nasty. Apocalypse is nasty. Yeah, man. I'd love to see that if anybody's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. Oh, man. Yeah, we've heard a lot about this AAA Pog build today, guys, so be on your toes about that. Hopefully we can catch somebody playing it. But, Matt, another question for you. What's a figure that isn't really being talked about that you might expect to see today? Um... Honestly, I just think every piece has viability in some way. Yeah. I mean, obviously not every common and uncommon, but there's so many pieces out there that do so much. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I really like Nathaniel Richards still. Yeah, still man. works great with scientists, gives out powers. Pulse Wave is going to be very prominent. Absolutely. I think that's a good piece to look out for for 20 points. Absolutely, dude. Yeah, Pulse Wave right now against those, those dirty, dirty APOC players. Hopefully someone pulls up with it. Well, last question, question, Matt, and then we'll get you on your way here. What's a tarot card that you do not want to see flipped against you today? The Fool. Round two. <laughs> I don't want to see The Fool coming. Yeah, man. Thanos is very strong, too strong. And if he just hits full second turn, you're kind of going to have a bad time. Yeah, man, absolutely. Well, Matt, we wish you the best of luck. I'm sure we'll see you in the final cut here. Oh, and uh, be amazing. Yeah, oh, ow, you. <laughs> no! Have a good one, man. Thanks. All right, guys, more modern coverage coming your way. Today, I am here with Tom. Tom, how are we doing today? Oh, we're doing great, thank you. Awesome. And with modern kicking off, what are you playing? Well, I'm playing an Avengers swap team. Um, Ooh, yeah, okay. it, it's a double Captain America, so that you kind of swap the one and then the other so that you're not left with Captain America, who's fine, but he's all right. It's also mixed with Morgan Le Fay, so you get some Latvarian in there. Oh, interesting. Uh, Molecule Man. Molecule Man, Shifting Doom, so that part's always Latveria, and then the other 195 points will customarily become uh, Darkhold, Scarlet Witch, Sakarian Iron Man, Hope Summers, and either the Mr. Fantastic, who r pulls barriers, or uh, uh, Realms... Uh, uh, what's it called? Common Scarlet Witch. Just oh, absolutely. taxi. Oh, absolutely. Little transporter. Yeah. She's got prob top dial, right? She's got prob. She's a transporter. She dies very quickly, uh, <laughs> such is the nature of the thing. I think that dying very quickly might be a theme of the day, but uh, yeah. we'll see how that goes. Man, absolutely. Yeah. Well, with that team, what is a matchup that's particularly scary for you? I mean, to be honest with you, um, the thing that I'm most concerned about is is only is probably just Thanos, and it's only because I faced it the most. Uh, <laughs> you know, I know very well how difficult it is to deal with never-ending barriers, and of Seriously. course, mind control messes up your team. Yes. So, I mean, there's a lot of things. I'm, I'm generally terrified of uh, everything that I come across, but that's one that I particularly know is very tough, and so mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to it, but kind of looking forward to it. I'm interested hey, to see how yeah, it goes. Yeah, just to see if uh, you can get that win out. Well, Tom, last question for you. What is a tarot card that you just do not want to see flipped against you? Uh, well, coming off the Thanos, it would less likely be, uh, you know, passive damage off mind control. That's a very easy dead Molecule Man. It's a very easy dead, uh, not Mr. Fantastic, I guess, with the toughness because it's printed, but uh, it would uh, be, you know, if it had been softened up, that would do it. And it's just a, it's a hard card. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, man. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Good luck today. Really appreciate the interview, man. Appreciate and uh, yeah, we'll see you more tomorrow or today. Yeah. Not tomorrow. All right, guys, it is still day three. We're getting ready for the Modern Tournament, and today joining me is Joe Alves. You've probably played one of his builds if you've played non-theme before. He's always killing it in the broadcast events. And today, Joe, what are you playing? Today I'm going to be playing a, a mixed build of uh, good stuff, you know, okay. to, to change it up a little. Classic bit. Joe. Classic Joe, yeah. I have, like, Flash. I have um, uh, Sky Tyrant, uh, oh. Sim, and Mad Jim Jaspers. All right, awesome, yeah, and man. I have a little tech there that's really cool. So I'm running Wonder Woman, the, the switching focus Wonder Woman. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I like it. So the, 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 the trick is because she, every time you swap a new one and she comes with a new item, I get yep. a free item with Mad Jim every turn. 
Oh, wow. So that's the combo, yeah. Okay, man. Well, that is going to be something exciting. We're going to have to keep up with Joe today. But, Joe, you know, I'm sure when you're building, you're thinking about, you know, some scarier stuff. What is a matchup that you just do not want to see? You know, the immovable object, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to say what I can't take down is what I don't want to see. There we go. So all these apocalypses, they're going to be, you know, a little scary, a little daunting. But there's always a few points to grab in the, in the matchup. Sure. So you got to play, you know, got to... Get through gotta choose, it, really. choose the time and, and, then, yeah. and then hit where it counts, right? Yeah. Work with the clock because the second that thing starts, it's working against you in those oh, yeah. APOC oh, matchups, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. All right, Joe. Well, another question for you is what's a figure today that no one's really talking about that you expect to see a bit of? Uh, I think I'm going to see Wonder Woman that nobody's talking about. Hey, I'm going to see it all day. It's this guy. <laughs> this is the figure you're not going to see, the Wonder Woman. You heard it here first. And then, to be honest, I think that most of the good figures are, are, are being played. Like, f from what I've noticed, people have been, you know, very diverse with their teams, and you, yeah. you'll see a good mix of stuff. Everything that's pretty, like, solid tier one is, is being played pretty much. So I don't like I would say so, yeah. anything surprising to, like, you know, mm -hmm. catch everybody off guard or anything. Yeah. To just go over, like, a previous answer, uh, Merlin was one of them that's been floating around a bit. And I couldn't agree more. I think there's a lot of people saying he's overcosted, so... I think that's my personal pick, but uh, excellent, yeah, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I like Merlin. I think that the issue is a good player will know what to do. Yeah. And, and it's like a... They've prepped for it. They've prepped for it, so yeah. So. I'm sure you have as well? I have, for sure. I, I have a friend that's all he plays. <laughs> oh, there Just you go. <laughs> <laughs> so every week I got my, my Merlin like practice, for sure. <laughs> there we go, man. All right, well, last question, and we'll get you on your way here because we still got registration going on. It's a bit busy. Joe, what is a tarot card that you do not want to see flipped against you? Uh, there's a couple, but I'm, if I have to choose one, it would probably have to be the the, the maximum damage on the turn would be like two damage. Yeah. Because I'm an That can be right? tough. That can be tough. I mean, you can still, you know, maybe KO a few things, Yo. but the, the big boys are not going anywhere, right? No. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was Joe Alves. We'll have to check back with him. Check back in with him later. And we really appreciate the time, man. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank yeah, you. I know. Left hand shake. It's weird. <laughs> Day three of Worlds continues. I'm here with Dan Powell, the Silver Age champion and Modern Age participant today. Dan, how are you doing today? I'm I'm doing really well. Uh, got good sleep, good food this morning, good coffee. Feeling feeling great this morning. Awesome, man. And could you uh, just give us the official title that WizKids gave you for the Silver Age event? Okay, to be fair, I don't think I got an official title of oh, any sort. Oh, okay. But it's only the event that I won is the title, right? So it's the uh, inaugural WizKids inaugural Silver Age side event at WizKids World's 2022 champion. What a mouthful. Wow. <laughs> Lowercase on the side event. There we go. Very there we go. Case. Little asterisk. Make the font smaller. You know what to do. It's not. It's not an official championship. I did. I did get word of that, but uh, well, we're counting it as official. Right. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that, Ian. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely, man. So modern's throwing down today. It could be pretty nasty out there. You know, I'm sure a lot of people at home already know this, but Dan, what are you playing? Uh, Thanos, uh, Collector, Hope Summers, Molecule Man, Star Sapphire, The Cloak. Awesome. Awesome. And then, what is the matchup that you're really not looking forward to seeing today? Three legacy apocalypses. Seems to be a common response. That is, yeah, it's a nasty team out there. <laughs> Any particular reason why? You can't score it. You can't score against it. Um, turn. They start out with three pogs. Turn one, they get. They can make three. If they roll leadership, it's greater than three, right? So, like worst case, they leadership, leadership, leadership. Power, power, power. There's nine pogs on the board. The mastermind's at range. No line of fire. You can't. You just can't get to it. And they can master. What do you do? If you, if you get rid of all the pogs, they can still mastermind to each other. There's still eight clicks with toughness and shape change. Yeah. And power cosmic, even stealth on top of that. So yeah, I yeah. can understand. It's it's nasty, man. Well, how about this? What's a figure that no one's talking about that you expect to see a little bit of today? Oh man, that I I thought about that one last night when you sent me the questions, and um, I I think maybe. Like Sky Tyrant. Mm, okay. Like, so, like. He has fallen out a bit of favor. You know, we went through what, six, eight months of Sky Tyrant's reign, and he has been reeled back a bit. So, why Sky Tyrant today? So, I think with the, if, you know, if he's given the right equipment, uh, like, say, like the Waldo Arms or like the Necro Sword or something, the Giant Reach and Quaking might be the ticket. Yeah. 
to choose through some stuff. I'm not saying it's the best way or that it will work, but it may be give you that best chance. But I think Tyrant might make a return today. All right. Well, folks, be on the lookout for Tyrant. I believe it's possible, too. Dan, last question for you. What's a tarot card you just do not want flipped against you? Uh, the 10 through 12, 10, 11 crit card. I don't remember which one that is, but uh, I, I think it's one of the, I don't know. It's the, it's the 10, 11s are crits, and it doesn't have to hit. So there is no, like, a 10 or 11 that would hit becomes a crit. It's just 10s and 11s that are rolled are crits. Okay. So you don't get a chance to super sense out of it. Man, that is tough, and I'm sure you'll be picking that a lot today. Well, Dan, good luck. Thanks for taking the time to do the interview. We really appreciate it. And, guys, make sure you check out Click Stuff on the shirt. We'll be back with more.